Joseph was not the father of Jesus. So, Lord gave that God 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 gave that does this now power I'm saying to go this away? Is I'm here saying let's go yes, away. And you're telling me no. You're telling me to go away. Yeah, yeah, right. so you made a statement. But she was not. You made a statement. Mary was not without sin. You're required, Abdul. And that, because the sin was not transferred. Be quiet, because. He is not. 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 That's what it's, uh, it's just inseminated. And the blood vessels are here, and the yolk of the egg. And then we know it's inseminated. So the nature, the nature is stronger and bigger in real life than on TV. Because I've only seen a few clips of you. Oh, fair enough. Yeah, yeah, I do look big, big How long have you been here? Uh, I've been coming here for like four years. Are you Christian, by the way? Or you? Take away the sin of the world because there's no nature of sin. In Jesus Christ running around is holy, harmless, undefiled, and separate from sinners. And Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ was conceived by the Holy Ghost in the womb of the Virgin Mary. I just like it. And that's why that consent. Holy Charles, calm down. That Holy right. You, just, you said you just like it. So what, what, what do you mean by you just like it? No, I mean, I believe it's the true religion. Why do you believe it's true? Because the arguments convince me of the Quran. So what, what arguments convince you then? Like the... Like the structure. The inimitability. In the way, explain that to me. In the inimitability. That no one can produce a surah like it. No, no, that's interesting. So, you know, it, but you remember, the Quran says that nobody can. That doesn't mean nobody can. I find we have Shakespeare's writings, for example, and those seem to be beautiful as well. But that's that's my experience of Shakespeare. Does that mean I'm right about Shakespeare? That it's from God? You think Shakespeare's from God? That's my question. No, 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 no. Fair enough. Well, that, that's the point, right? Yeah, me and you can look at the scriptures and say, oh, well, it's from God, but how do we know that the Quran's from God? Who received the Quran? The Prophet Muhammad. How do you know that? Because it's been narrated to us by people and people through the generations. And where's the proof of that? You can search it up. Uh, we have Hadith, we have the Quran, and it's been there 500 years ago, 1,400 years ago. So the earliest testimony we have is obviously Sahih al-Bukhari. That's one of the Sahih al I mean, We don't really have anything outside of that. No, the thing is, no, look, I'm, I like to talk to you, but I'm not that very much learned. No, no, I appreciate that. I'm just like, I'm just like showing you that this is what I've learned essentially. That the earliest manuscripts we have are of Sahih Bukhari. The earliest Quran manuscripts we have don't go back to the time of Muhammad. So really, if we we can't really know who I don't know really was. much anything about Quranic manuscripts. I know Sahih Sahih Al Bukhari is a book. It's an important book, but for the rest, I don't know. So do you accept what Sahih Al Bukhari says? I haven't read it. I don't know. Because yeah. There's many things in Sahih Bukhari which sort of paint Muhammad in a different light, and not a favourable light. Yeah, like, you, you've heard I've of seen, it. I've right? seen your videos. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm in fifth grade, so I like to read these things and to go into these things. But my, my parents taught me I have to finish my two years of high school and then I can come and talk, because after two months my exams coming. So that's why. I, I, all, I actually wanted to come on Christmas here, but uh, when, the, when I saw my tests and my homework after Christmas, it was heavy. So they said, we're not going in Christmas, uh, the, the week of Christmas, because I come from a different country. And we got like two weeks vacation, and they call it the Christmas vacation, that's why I call it. So that's why... I, I don't understand. What, 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 old, what old old me say is that there's more proof for the Jesus of the, old, the New Testament than there is for Muhammad. 
we find no, earliest Jesus copies Christ of the Bible dated hundreds of years before there was a Muhammad, there was a Quran. Yeah, I know, I know. yeah so this is important to understand that the testimony, the witness of Jesus says that Jesus Christ died and he rose again for our sins so that we may be changed, we may be new persons under Christ, born again by his spirit. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, I understand. But I also want to know your position. Why do you believe your, I don't know which... Are you Catholic or Protestant? I would call myself a born-again Bible-believing okay. Christian. Protestant okay. is a name the Catholics exactly. made up for us. Uh, what is your position on... What, what do you, why do you believe in born again? Okay, so because Jesus says in John 3 verse 3 that you must be born again to enter the kingdom of heaven. So in order to enter the kingdom of heaven, you must be born again. Born of the spirit and the water. You can't, you can't enter the kingdom unless you are changed from within. Oh. Something happened there, I'm not sure. Oh, oh yeah, I can see what's going on. There's some police. There's a fight, yeah. Oh, he can tell oh, this. Yeah, that's a shame. I think he something there is going to happen. The preaching of the gospel through God to lead the way. Oh, oh, God, God, take it away. So, I, like, I, I don't want to be distracted. I don't know what's happening. No, it's no yeah. problem. If you want to film that, it's good, good for your channel. And no, it's I, just I, don't, I don't mind. You need to repent. I mean, it can get every worse. It could get worse. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm really only here for you because you said you came from holiday. So, like, the truth is, the reason why. I believe in what I believe in is because Christ changed me from the inside. Oftentimes we think that we're on our own, that God has left us alone. I know it's in the Islamic religion, of course, you have the idea that, you know, Allah, like, he sent Muhammad, he's giving you his testimony and stuff like that. But I would say more importantly, God has became flesh to experience what we experience in a lot of ways so that we may understand who he is. Because for a long time people don't know God. Like, you know this as well, like the Quran says it, like people worship idols. They worship other gods, but God became flesh so that we can see him, we can know him, and that we can trust that we can truly be born again. Today, this day, 2,000 plus years ago, or almost 2,000 years ago, um, Jesus Christ rose from the dead. Today, this day as well. Right, what do you think about it? I mean, I know the concept of crucifixion. I know the concept of resurrection. But my question was, mildly like you asked me for why I believe and why and why, so I want to like go on press and why do you believe the born again Christianity is true? Like my proofs, I'm not educated in my proofs, like what I said about inimitability, I just read something about it or something and I was convinced. But like you, I've seen you for a long time and you've already changed also. So what are your and on Christian proofs for your position. I would say that the, we have the earliest witness of Matthew, Mark, Luke and John. We have the church writers who are writing around that time who say that Matthew wrote Matthew, Mark wrote Mark, Luke wrote Luke and John wrote John. We have their witness of Jesus Christ and his ministry on earth. Jesus Christ, of course, says himself that if you truly believe in him, you, should, you will be saved. There's no you shall, you will be saved. That is a fact. In your Quran, for example, Jesus is called the word of Allah. This is chapter 4, verse 171. In the, in the Bible, Jesus is called the word of God. John 1, verse 1. The word of God is God's logic, is God's reason, who becomes flesh. Yeah. You understand where I'm coming from? Yeah. So the, 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 the very reason why I believe in that is, one, because the early testimonies we have, two, because Christ illuminated me with his Holy Spirit. Four years ago, the Lord Jesus Christ came to me and he changed me within. I used to smoke a lot. I used to be an atheist, in fact. I, I didn't believe in a God, sorry. Mark, oh, you were an atheist? Yeah, I was an atheist, yeah. So what was your position then against uh, religion that made you come to religion? Okay, so I, I didn't believe that, God, that there was any idea that man, sorry, not man, that God even existed. I didn't believe it was possible. Nobody showed me proof. And I, I was denying it completely. Um, yeah, yeah, it's, it's very distracting. Worse. There are more police coming. Yeah, it's very distracting. Yeah, no, yeah. Keep talking. Yeah, so I, I didn't believe in this stuff. I, I believed in evolution. But the problem with evolution is there's no evidence for it. I believed in that. Yeah, it's a lot of speculation. Yeah. The one question that got me to posit God was this. How can there be good and evil if there's no God? Okay, go on. Because human beings, human beings make up their own version of what good and evil is. You'll notice all throughout reality, we make up our own presupposition about what goodness is and what badness is. If I go to like the ne my next door neighbor and say, what do you think good or bad is? They say, oh, well, it's not bad to kill somebody. If I go to like a KKK member. They got him, they got him, it's that guy. Yeah. Okay, 
Okay, it's very distracting. Yeah, <laughs> it's very distracting because it, it doesn't happen that very often, I think. Maybe. Yeah, it, it doesn't happen that very often. That's the thing. It's, it's oh, wow, they've arrested him. It, oh, there's also the Siraj guy also. Yeah. Um, I mean, that's my first time in Speaker's Corner. Yes. Is Speaker's Corner only in Sundays open? Only on Sundays, yeah. And that's why it's very crowded. Yeah. And does this happen every Sunday or...? No, not nothing like this. I don't know what happened here. I think it might have been a point. Yeah. No, because I came from there and the guy that they just arrested was shouting and he was, you know, clashing with people and then I came this way. Yeah. There seems to be like a violent spirit around here, this is what I mean. But coming back to the point, the whole reason why I'm not an atheist anymore is because the problem of evil is answered by Jesus Christ. Because he created us in his image, he's created us with purpose. That's why we can't do good or bad things. And he's created us to follow his way. You understand where I'm coming from? So when you look into the... Have you got a gospel, by the way, at home? Have you got a New Testament gospel at home? Yeah, uh, one thing I'll suggest, look, I've got a few copies here. Because I'm here with my sister, five, uh, eight years old, I'm here with my mom. Oh, nice. Yeah, and we, we have, we have, we are here with my nephew in uh, London, I think it's North. Hmm. And uh, we just came here and uh, eventually, it's, I'm a Muslim, so I, after, it's now three, what is this? How do you say it in English? Three, 3 p.m.? 3 p.m. Yeah, yeah, it's 28. 3 tw yeah, 3 28 p.m. Yeah. So about a few minutes later, I have to because it's also the prayer time. Oh, fair enough. Yeah. Well, so, I would suggest this. Is this is, this it is food? food. It's food for your soul. Yes. <laughs> it's it's the Gospel of John. I was just having a good read. Well, it's like a summary of the Gospel of John. No, it's the actual Gospel of John. It's not a summary. It's oh, the, the entire. Yeah. Oh. It's not the entire Bible, but it's the because, entire Gospel of because John. Because in yes. the because I mean, I went to the library one day and I. Uh, uh, saw um, a Bible and I read it and the Gospel of John uh, looks very big. Yeah, it looks big. Uh, it's, it depends on the Bible because the text, sometimes when you've got a, a book, the text will be bigger, so you take up more pages. But, because uh, yeah. there are some Bibles whose uh, papers are like this, and yeah. some of them are like uh, thick, very thick. By yeah. the way, I don't, you know, it's my first time. I don't want to really want to come on Oh, camera. you didn't want to film? Yeah, I didn't. Uh, man, you, you should have told me, dude. I'm sorry. <laughs> you can blur my face. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll blur you. Can I blur your face? Yeah, Stop because yeah, it's yeah. my first time. I don't want to really get into hot no, things. No, I'm not trying, I'm not trying to hound you because I know it's your first time. I'm excited to meet others like uh, James Smith and all the, all the, the Christian team of Speaker's Corner. I want oh, to meet them all. I mean, Jay Smith isn't here. Bob isn't here either, unfortunately, but yeah. yeah. Um, I don't know where the others are, you'd have to look around. I know Bob um, from his spicy debates with Hashim and Mansour. <laughs> spicy debates. Oh, yeah. I, I call <laughs> it spicy <laughs> That's because it's, it's very uh, heated yeah, a lot of yeah. times. It shouting, be, yeah. shouting, shouting. Yeah, it can so, be, it can be. Thank you very much. So is this just from John 1? Because I know something about John. I know that John uh, is uh, a disciple. John's a disciple, yeah. But I, uh, because, but, but I also learned in school that there are many Johns. Christianity. Yeah, there are. There's John the Baptist. Uh, there's so what's the difference the, between the Baptist and the disciple? Oh, because the, the, the John the Baptist um, ba is the first person to baptize Jesus Christ. He baptizes Jesus Christ in the River Jordan. Mm. Um, he ends up dying because he gets killed by Herod. Mm. Herod, uh, Herod? Herod was the king of the Jews at that time. Yeah, so uh, he ends up killing um, John the Baptist. John the Evangelist is the apostle that followed Jesus. John is the son of Zebedee. John is a fisherman. You understand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he follows after Jesus Christ. Don't, don't we have that, John? And then later on, you've got people like John Chrysostom, but that's much later on. You've got people like John Chrysostom, John, John of Damascus. That's my mother. Oh, uh, that's your mother. <laughs> she just warned me maybe we're going to go or we're, we're maybe going somewhere. Oh, or yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not sure, but she just came to. Whatever, let's go. Yeah, no, no, yeah. That's so, that's go on. I have maybe a few minutes. No, I'm not, I'm not going to keep it. I'll just say this. Look, when you read okay, for the you Gospel of John. You can make your last conclusion then. Yeah, yeah, that would be my last conclusion. So, when you read for the Gospel of John, yeah. try to picture yourself at that time. Try to picture yourself there with Jesus and the disciples. And when you learn of Jesus, you'll find out one thing that's very, that's very certain, that Jesus was himself righteous. He says, come to me, all you're wearing, and I'll give you rest. But what you'll find within the Quran is that you don't have that. You don't have God entering creation, being with us and connecting with us. And that's very important for us. It's very important for us to know God in this way. The reason why is that it's because it shows that God loves us so much that he's able to even confine to this level of intimacy. But to how love did us. he 
come to the sky or... Oh, for the sky. So it, the Bible refers to him as being sent down. We don't know how, though. I mean, that's my last question. Yeah. So, like, yeah, if that's your question, we don't know how yeah. Jesus became incarnate. We don't know how, but we know that because God did. you guys do believe in the virgin birth. Of course we, yeah, yeah. Exactly. So, you, you, you do yeah, as well. Yeah, I do, do as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that, that's what we would say, like, God came into earth. We don't know how. Yeah. It's, it's, a, it's a divine mystery, but it's a clever one. But basically, God is invading creation so he can heal us. We in Scythe have committed sins. Have you ever lied, sir? Probably when I was a long time ago. Yeah, yeah, I mean, everyone has stuff. Yeah. Have you ever come, Have you ever slept with somebody outside of marriage? I don't know how old you are. So. No, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm 18. Oh, no, no, I haven't. No, no, oh, fair no. enough. So have you ever stolen anything, even a small little thing? Maybe candy from the shop. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't really remember because I was... Maybe there's a high possibility of stealing candy from a candy shop. Yeah, yeah <laughs> maybe. There's a, there's a there's, there's always... Yeah, I believe maybe. maybe. So, so what, what you're telling me is that according to God's law, you would be a liar and you'd be a thief. How should God judge you if he's to judge you fairly? You would, you would ask God to, to tell him sorry, I, I'm sorry for my... You're repenting and then he forgives you. But the issue is, Jesus says that if you break one sin, you've, break, you've broken them all. There's no, there's no forgiveness. So how can, how can you be forgiven then? Who, who, can, for, be, who can take your place so that you don't have to be forgiven? So you don't, so you no don't one, have to take the punishment. So. No one, because if you sin, it's your fault, right? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's I, your fault. You committed those sins. Yeah. yeah so so you say, are you saying you... Sh so what I'm saying is that the law says that you must die and what I mean by die is that you, you, you can't go into eternal life if yeah. you steal, if you, if you, mean, you mean commit theft. You mean if someone sins, he goes to hell? Yes, everybody who sins must go to hell. Yeah. So how do you think you can re refrain from that punishment? How do you think you can be removed from that punishment? If God is merciful, he will forgive me. But, but if he's merciful, he still has to carry it out because you've still done, you've still done something against him. Because God is just, he has to carry out the action. If God says, I'm going to do this, then he has to do it. What if God says, look, the only way you can get rid of that sin is that you follow this method of repentance and then I forgive you? Well, it, it can't work like that because he said anybody who sins will die. That's what the Old Testament says. Yeah, but that's... So you, if, if he well, says that, he I'm has not, to carry it out. You no, know, because I'm not, now I'm talking from an Islamic point of view that God tells you the method of repentance to then ask forgiveness for it. The problem is that's not just. If it, let's say I could, for example, there's, there's a hadith that said a man murdered 99 people, right? He goes to a monk and he says, I, I want to be forgiven, right? The monk says to him, no. Then he murders the monk. And then he goes to seek forgiveness and Allah sends the city closer to him. This is in Sayyid Bukhari. Is that fair? Is that just? I have to research the hadith. Um... Do you want me to, all right, all right, what I can do is I can, have you got a phone on you? Yeah, I've got yeah, because what I'll do, I don't know what's that, um, what I could do is I'll send you a hadith. Yeah, um, Why don't you show me the, from Google, the picture? Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm doing, I'm just so getting... I, when I maybe get home and I read so more about this it. is it, and yeah, you can... 3470. 3470, right? It's, it's, it's this. It says, The prophet said amongst the men of Bani Israel there was a man who had murdered 99 persons. So he murdered him, right? Okay, wait. I'm going to take a screenshot of this so that I can. Oh, you want to take a screenshot? Yeah, so that when I get home, I maybe ponder upon it more. And... Yeah, yeah, I was just doing that. So I took, yeah, I took a screenshot. And I'll, I'll continue just reading it out. Yeah, yeah, read then he set out asking whether his repentance could be accepted or not. He came upon a monk and asked him, so remember, you already murdered 99 people. Have you agreed on that, right? Uh, the monk replied in the negative, and so the man killed him. He kept on asking till the man advised to go to such and such village. So he's already he's killed the monk. Yeah, sorry. He's killed the monk yeah. for for literally asked, he asked the monk for repentance, and then he killed him. Even okay. though he's asking repentance for killing 99 people, is that fair? I mean, killing a monk. I mean, so he killed already 99 people. Yes. And then he kills another monk. I yeah. Mean, yeah, that's bad. That's bad. That, yeah, so well, that, sure. that's what it's saying. And so, so he, the rest is, so he left for it. Yeah. But death overtook him on the way. While dying, this is the man who killed 99 people. Yeah. He turned his chest towards that village where he hoped his repentance would be accepted. Mm -hmm. 
And so the angels of the mercy and angels of punishment quarreled amongst themselves regarding him. Oh, so and, he died? Yeah, he, he ends up dying on the way. Uh, Allah ordered the village towards him as he was going to come close to him and ordered the village where he'd come to go far away. And he ordered the angels to measure the distances between his body and the two villages. So he was found to be one span closer to the village so he was going to, so he was forgiven. Do you think that's fair? He's, he's murdered 99 people. He's murdered another one person. Do you think it's fair for him to be forgiven by Allah? I know he's died at this point. Do you think it's fair for him to receive Jannah for murdering 100 people at this point? I don't know. I have to research it. Oh, yeah, you're, no, no, no. You're, <laughs> you're coming with some things that I've never ever heard about. No, I'm, that, that, I'm just leaving this as a question for you to think about later. That, What's, that, your name? That's What's your name? My name's John. My name is Baron. Say it. Baron. Baron. Baron, yeah. I'll show you. Nice name. It's difficult to pronounce because I wanted to get the right pronunciation in English. Uh, Fair enough. Here. Baron. I don't Bar know how Barfram. you speak that. Yeah, Barfram. that's Bahram. Yeah, Bahram. Yeah, yeah. Bahram. Yeah. So, yeah. So, yeah. Nice name. Nice thank you very much for the uh, food. <laughs> yeah, no, no problem. No problem. Man. It's brilliant talking to you. Yeah, Honestly, so, yeah. you're a decent Muslim, but I'd pray, like, think about this. Thank you. Man. And also, yeah, have a read. I hope that everyone will get guided and. Yeah, that's the whole yeah, That's the whole point. The whole... Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Sorry, bro. No, it's alright. Yeah, Can so, you hold this? Yes, sir. It's no problem. Should I help you? <laughs> Oh, oh thanks, thanks. there you go. Thanks, man. Thanks, man. Don't worry. Yeah. So it was nice talking to you. Yeah, it was nice talking to you. John. It was recorded, by the way. It's a bit crap. It's uh, fine. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, man. So please do not put my face. Yeah, I'm gonna blow you. Uh, I'm gonna blow you. Don't worry, man. I'll blow you. Uh, I'm just gonna because now I've got my bridge. So I'm just gonna hang around there and then because the prayer time also got and then I have to. Brother, where does yeah. it say? Have a walk around, though, bro. brother. I'm, so, I'm sorry. Where does it say in Quran the verse uh, which says that you can uh, marry an impu, 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 impubescent girl? Which verse is that? That's not in the Quran. That's in Surah Bukhari 5134. No, I thought that this Quran verse which says about you can marry girls. Oh, it says you can divorce young girls. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. 65 verse 4. 65 4, thank you. Yeah.